Welcome to my YouTube channel, Love for Intuitive Astrology. My name is Michelle and today I'm going to bring you the forecast for August 2020 for the sign of Aries. So if you got your sun sign, your moon sign or your ascendant in Aries, then this video is for you. So yeah, August is going to be a really, really exciting month. Uh, take into account that this video is a general reading, so if you would like to have a personal reading with me, you can send me an email for more information. But yeah, let's look at the month ahead. I mean, it's going to be an exciting month. It's going to be a month of breakthroughs. It's going to be a month of, I'm going to take power. I'm going to initiate. I'm going to do something new. You know and uh, on the 3rd of august we have a full moon in aquarius and for you aries that's going to be in your 11th house and the 11th house is all about friends groups the public um being part of a group so it's not you against the group it's you with a group and the sun is going to be in Leo and this means it's going to be in your fifth house. So this is about creativity, this is about romance, you know. And at the same time, the north node, it's the uncomfortable note of new... It's like part of your destiny. It's about the uncomfortable. It's about going into a new, how do you say it? Getting out of your comfort zone into a new start of something you didn't know you had in you. And this is conjuncting Venus. And Venus is about love, self-love, self-word and money. So if we connect all these dots together, we can say that you will work on some projects that you really, really would like to show to the public. So this day would be great for that, you know, and it's going to bring you money because it's something new, North Note, money. At the same time, it could be that one of your friends, because Aquarius is really the sign of dating friends, it's about being everyone's friend and not in an attached way, in a detached way. It's like we're all equal, we all can be here. And when you match this all together, it could be that maybe a friend of yours is something more than you thought it was, you know? So um, yeah, there could be some kind of romance that is meant to happen. It's something karmic, you know? When Venus is coming together with the North Node, it is like a new beginning of something. So yeah, it could be a new project, could be a new love. And Venus and the North Node are in Gemini. So this is like, this is a social sign. It wants to get out, it wants to have information. So maybe this person or maybe persons because Gemini is also likes to see different sides. So maybe you want to see this different sides of this person. You're gonna hang out, you're gonna do, uh, you're gonna do things together, you're gonna go on dates, you're gonna be in your friend group but hanging out with this person. You wanna see different sides of this person to collect information to know if this is someone you want to continue with, you know? And um, this is all happening in your third house. Venus and the North Node are in your third house. Communication. It's about, and it's not about the grand communication of the ninth house. No, no, no. It's about communication of the surroundings. So this might be someone, you know, who's actually really near to you. And you want to communicate with this person. You want to talk to this person. You want to see hmm, you know, what is this person like? Is this person fun? Is this person someone that is, you know, that is, hmm, that is someone that can bring me joy? That it's someone that is uh, fun, that makes me smile? It's someone that has the intellect that I'm looking for? Is it someone that, you know, that is fulfilling or 
obtaining all the qualities that I'm looking for. So you're gonna go into this. And the same if Venus for you is about money and a new project. It is really about... It could actually be something that you didn't know could bring you money. It's like, this is something I love doing. I love doing this. Um, you know, and maybe it's the first time that you're spreading it to a group. Maybe it's the first time that you're showing it to everyone. Like, listen, this is what I, what, what is my passion? I'm going to show it to you and, and people want to pay for it. And you're like, what is this? This is the universe telling you, okay, this is a new path for you to take. And at the same time, there is a Uranus square, uh, the moon. Uranus squared the sun. So you're going to feel rebellious. You're going to be like, I don't care what authority is saying. I don't care what anyone's saying. I want to do this. You're going to be rebellious. So yeah, watch out for fights with your boss. Because <laughs> uh, these could be things that could happen around Uranus as well. It's also flashes of ideas. You might have this great idea coming up. And then there is Neptune sextiling your Jupiter. And Neptune for you, it's in... I mean, it's in Pisces, in the 12th house, the spiritual house. You might get messages coming through, like, it's like coming, shooting into your brain, like, wow, this is some kind of awakening that is bringing you something that increases your public image. And you've been working on this for a long time, you know? And besides that, Mars is in your sign. So you're gonna feel super energetic, you're going to feel awake, energetic. You're going to do sports. You're going to you're going to have passion. You're like, "Yeah, let's let's take new actions." You're ready for something new. You're ready for like um new beginnings. You're ready to break through and maybe you have feared for a while to do something. You've doubted like, "Is this something I'm supposed to do? Is this something I'm ready for?" Um you know, and uh, but you are ready. <laughs> and, you know, August is a great month for you to initiate things. And also there is a Chiron, the wounded planet. And if you look at my videos from July, you can, you can see that a lot of wounds were touched in July. You know, a lot of wounds were coming up like, oh my God, what is this? You know, and it has to do a lot with your self-image. It has to do a lot with, you know, and I projecting myself as the right personality you know who am i what am i what am i doing here what is my purpose what is my you know how do people see me um so this is like something is coming up this is healing because this month in august it is trining and a trine is a good aspect it's it's a very um fluid uh, aspect you know, so it's like um, everything that came up. Now you feel empowered and you feel like, you know what? This is who I am. This is how I feel. I might feel comfortable, some uncomfortable sometimes, but I'm okay with that now. I'm completely fine with that. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a super exciting month. Besides that, there's a new moon uh, in Leo. And, um, yeah, it's going to be happening in your fifth house. I mean, Leo for you is in your fifth house. Again, romance, uh, creative project. This is not necessarily public uh, projects. But since you've been working on your public image and on your self-image, it could actually be more than just a passion. And um, there is Mars in your first house, training the sun in Leo, another fellow fire sign. Oh my God, you're gonna feel so optimistic. You're gonna be like, I'm gonna do this project. I'm gonna have so much passion for it. I'm Maybe you're in love and you're gonna be head over heels. Oh my God, this person is so amazing. I'm gonna go for this. You're gonna feel super romantic. Everyone's gonna be like, whoa, 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 what's happening here? <laughs> what is happening with Aries? You're so romantic. You're chasing what you want and you're going to go for it. And, uh, you know, there's going to be more um, aspects to the North Node during this new moon. It's going to be um, a lot of 
patterns coming up to heal. Why? It's because the moon and the sun are sextiling the north node. The moon are your emotions. The sun is who you are. But at the same time, who you are, your emotion have to do with your parents. So it could be that some patterns that in the past would have hurt you, you're healing it. You're forgiving your parents if there's something to forgive. Around the 18th new moon, this is going to come up and you're going to forgive. And talking about love, there is Venus sextiling Uranus. You know, your Venus is in your third house. So someone in your surroundings, again, might unexpectedly pop up, say hello. <laughs> uh, this could be like an electric uh, love coming in. But at the same time with Uranus, it's not always someone who's staying. It's someone unconventional, someone older, someone younger, someone unexpected. But this is like a flashlight. But if this is a long-term commitment, depends on the other planets and your compatibility, of course. Um, then we have the Pluto is sextiling the moon. So you're going to feel powerful. Oh my God, you have Mars in your own sign. And then the moon, um, the moon is sextiling Pluto. Oh my God. And Pluto's in your 10th house of public image. Uh, excuse me if you see me looking down. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I need to uh, look at the chart uh, to give you the right information. Uh, and I don't like cutting videos. I would like to give you the information heads on. So uh, yeah, I mean, wow, I'm going to see a really, really good month for you. Venus is trining uh, Jupiter. So Venus is love. Jupiter is expansion, faith having faith, you're going to have faith in, in, in a new job that you want, a new project. I feel this is going to be a great month for you. There's going to be a lot of healing. You're going to be awake. You're going to be enthusiastic. You're going to be full of new ideas and you're going to have breakthroughs. Um, at the same time, new moon, sun and the moon are conjuncting your Mercury. So it all has to do with uh, communication as well. Uh, the way you communicate, you might, you know, the way, you're going to pay more attention to the words you're saying. Um, you're going to feel like a lot of ambition and you're going to feel very outspoken. But at the same time, around the new moon, you're going to you're going to watch your words. Well, it's going to all come together. Could be that you're getting a new job surrounded by communication. Uh, you, you're gonna maybe figure out something that you've been waiting for a long time. Uh, I'm getting some cards out for you. All right. Yeah. Okay. So August <laughs> is gonna be very active month for you. So it could be a little bit of stress coming up. Um, don't worry about it. You know, as you can see, the person in this card is like completely fine with it. This is how I feel for you. I don't feel it's going to be very stressful. You can handle it easily, but it's going to be like, yeah, it's going to be a lot of things happening. Uh, you're going to have to be brave. You're going to have to take actions that you did not know that you had in you. You're going to break through. You're going to break to something and you have to be brave to do it out of the comfort comfort zone out of the comfort zone august is all about getting out of the comfort zone taking action and you didn't even know you had it in you and you gotta stay sweet to yourself okay because when mars is in aries it's all about boom 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 let's go action okay don't forget to treat yourself nicely to be uh good to yourself nurture yourself okay so don't forget that and then also you're gonna be in groups and yeah, it's going to be very, very nice. I'm going to go one last card for you. Um, I'm just excited reading your chart. So I'm going to be, it's going to be great. It, go, it, it can be uncomfortable, but you're definitely going to take action on the things that you would like to do concerning love or work or both, because you have energy to do a lot of things. And look at that, the sun, the sun. Okay, you can see a bit of light in the card, but I see the sun. It's like, it's saying plants are working out perfectly. I feel like you're really feeling in alignment. You're really feeling good. You know, um, the sun is in your, um, it's, it's in another fire sign in Leo. For you, that's totally okay. Um, yeah, so I feel this is going to be great for you. 
and uh, I have nothing to add to that right now. So uh, enjoy the month, take initiative, go around, meet people, tell the person you like that you like them. <laughs> Be romantic, be enthusiastic, be the initiator, and everything's gonna be good. So thank you so much for watching, Aries. I hope you're having a super great August, and uh, see you next time. Also, uh, if you like my video, subscribe to my channel, comment on the video. Uh, I really want to know how you feel about this and how it's outing itself for you. Uh, like it and uh, really I hope to see you again I'm making monthly videos so um, yeah thank you so much and all the best to you bye bye Arias